Uh, at this point, we've also experienced the maximum G-forces that we would have experienced during re-entry at about 9 Gs. Stop of Odyssey canister data and switch to 32K in 10 seconds. Odyssey switch to 32K detected. We have Odyssey locked up onto Phoenix carrier. Standing by for expected parachute deployment and Phoenix switch to 32K. At this point in time, Phoenix would have normally deployed its parachute. Standing by for telemetry acquisition. Phoenix switch to 32K detected. We have data lockup. Parachute deployment trigger detected. Heat shield trigger detected. Ground relative velocity 90 meters per second. Ground relative velocity 80 meters per second. At this point in time, standing by for radar RF on and altitude convergence. Radar switch to altitude mode. Standing by for altitude convergence. Land leg deployment trigger detected. Ground relative velocity 60 meters per second. Standing by for altitude convergence. At this point in time, Phoenix would have normally reached altitude convergence. We're standing by for confirmation via telemetry. Radar reliable. Altitude 2,000 meters. Altitude convergence detected. Altitude 1,800 meters. 1,700 meters. 1,600 meters. Standing by for land separation, altitude 1100 meters. Signal may drop out during land separation. Altitude 1000 meters. Land separation detected, we have reacquired the signal. Gravity turn detected. Altitude 600 meters, 500 meters, 400 meters, 250 meters, 150 meters, 100 meters, 80 meters, 50 meters. Constant velocity phase detected, altitude 40 meters, 30 meters, 27 meters, 20 meters, 50 meters, standing by for touchdown. Touchdown signal detected. Landed it.